And now back in Washington, U.S. lawmakers are set to hear another round of testimony in the Russia probe when Attorney General Jeff Sessions appears before Senate panel this week. As VOA Michael Bowman reports, Sessions, a former senator who campaigned vigorously on President Trump's, Donald Trump's behalf, will speak as lawmakers debate tougher sanctions against Russia for its interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. I have now decided to recuse myself. As a top Trump confidant, Attorney General Sessions recused himself from the Russia probe. But senators have questions for America's top law enforcement officer after former FBI Director James Comey hinted at additional reasons to wall off Sessions from the investigation. We also were aware of facts that I can't discuss in an open setting that would make his continued engagement in a Russia-related investigation problematic. Sessions came under fire for failing to disclose contacts with Russia's ambassador, something he denied during his confirmation hearing. I have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I did not not have communications with the Russians. The White House says no evidence has emerged the president personally colluded with Moscow to sway last year's election and disputes Comey's claim that Trump pressured him to end an investigation of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. No collusion, no obstruction. Some Republican lawmakers agree. I don't see that that amounts to obstruction. I don't see any evidence of intent to obstruct. I, I don't see any indication that there was even the potential for corruption here or for obstruction of justice. But a federal prosecutor fired by Trump sees things differently. That's an incredibly serious thing if people think that the president of the United States can tell heads of law enforcement agencies uh, based on his own whim or his own personal preferences or friendships that they should or should not pursue particular criminal cases against individuals. That's not how America works. Meanwhile, a bipartisan push is underway in the Senate to punish Russia for election meddling. It's time to respond to Russia's attack on American democracy with strength and resolve with common purpose and with action. There is no greater threat to our freedoms than attacks on our ability to choose our own leaders free from foreign interference. One measure under consideration would impose new U.S. sanctions on Russia's energy sector and other areas. Another would make it harder to ease existing sanctions against Moscow. The president and administration officials have demonstrated that they're willing to consider lifting sanctions on Russia in exchange for vague, yet to be articulated concessions, if any concessions at all. Congress ought to have the power to review any decision made by this administration before sanctions on Russia are lifted. The measures are being offered as amendments to a sanctions bill targeting Iran's ballistic missile program and support for terrorism. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.